Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This episode I will call Shooting on the Cheap Part 1. So what do we have here today? It's a Crossman Vigilante in 177 caliber that shoots 465 FPS. It comes with a rifled barrel and two clips. Okay, it comes with two clips that can sh so that you can shoot either BBs or pellets. But for me, I will not use the BBs because, like I said, it's rifled, so it's better to shoot the pellets. The frame is metal. This is plastic. The grips, plastic on both sides. Here's how you put the CO2 and you tighten it and comes with a spare BB clip this is how you remove the clip press here there you go so let's just say that you will not be doing fast reloads with this gun okay because you need to press that oh this is metal too and uh, what I like about it the hammer is also metal and the trigger okay. the safety is in here there's a red dot So this means it's ready to fire. Push it back. That's the safe. So why am I buying air guns? I did my research and watched other YouTube videos incorporating air guns in their prepping arsenal and that's why I don't buy them because they look cool I have a requirement for my air guns first it needs to be rifled so uh, I don't like smooth bores so it, mo it makes it more accurate if it's rifled and then it needs to shoot pellets in relation to that and then it needs to be less than a hundred bucks if it's more than a hundred bucks I would rather buy a cheap handgun or a shotgun my single shot shotgun is exactly uh, 100 bucks and last Black Friday I was able to score a brand new uh, pump shotgun for 125 and this revolver I purchased yesterday at Academy for less than 50 bucks okay. and lastly it needs to have a place in prepping so in relation to prepping some of the reasons are last year's ammo shortage like I said on my previous videos without ammo no matter how expensive your gun is it will be an expensive paperweight Next is to get rid of the itch on your trigger finger. So you want to shoot but for some reason your schedule or your budget doesn't allow you and sometimes it's illegal to fire your gun within your city limits so you should check your local laws. Wouldn't it be nice to go outside your house to shoot then go back to your bed then shoot again later? And then some states or countries does not allow or guns or have gun restrictions okay for example like our friends in Canada or other countries with the same gun restrictions they still can train with air guns okay you can train your grip your stance your breathing your trigger pull your reaction time and in relation to that I found an app yeah 
this app. Oh. Okay. It's called the uh, IPSC Shot Timer. What's amazing with this app, other than it's free, it acts as a shooting timer wherein you can practice the skills I mentioned. Let's open it up. See? You can program the delay in from which you push the button. Then it will start when you get your first shot and ends with your last shot. Okay? And then lastly, economics aspect. So we all know that shooting pellet guns are way cheaper than actual ammunition. I also found out something when I bought this um, CO2 cartridges. It is cheaper to buy them in small boxes of 15 rather than buy them in bulk or buy them in boxes of 40. Okay? Why? This box of 40 cost 19.99 or let's say it's 20 for a box of 40 while the box of 50 15s will cost you less than 7 bucks okay so 3 times let's just say 7 7 14 21 21 bucks will give you 45 cartridges unlike this box right here 20 bucks will only give you 40 okay so I didn't know that I thought if you buy in bulk it will be cheaper okay now uh, let's test the power of this gun using um, empty cans outside and then watch out for my next video uh, my part two of the shooting on the cheap video wherein I will incorporate the IPSC shot timer app with this gun. Okay? Okay, here's the first shot. Went through the can. Okay, let's do it again. First can, second, third, fourth, and my last. Where did it hit? Spray paint can. Let's see. It's inside. It went through here, yeah. but did not exit. Went through.
One more time.